They're on level 4 of Tolulu. That's a rare monster. What? Hey, you're not getting away. He freezes it and shoots it. It drops a chain. What's this? That's the first time I've seen a rare monster drop anything. Emily? Here, would you put this on? What? You mean... I want you to have it. You've made me so happy. I'll treasure this. Great, now you can rake in the profits for us. Huh? Rake in... profits? Oh, I guess you can't hear it. Like with the seeds and stuff. It's apparently a necklace that doubles item drops. That's the kind of thing... That's the kind of thing you need to say first. Huh? Wait, what do you mean? Emily destroys some bats. Wow, look at them all. This double drop rate is amazing. They're back home. Emily is cooking. Can I help with anything? That's alright. It'll be done in no time. It must be rough on her, having a tiny kitchen like this. Hey, Emily. I think I'd like to move somewhere else. You want to move? Yeah, with what we're making now, I think it's about time we get a nicer place. I see. What kind of place would you like to live in? No, you can choose whatever you... I can go with you? Well, of course. It'll be after we save a little more money, of course, but... It's okay to work hard, but don't work too hard, okay? I know. Tomorrow, I'll gather bamboo shoots again and get home at the usual time. Good. Is that? Hmm, these are a bit difficult to appraise. You there, excuse me. Would you mind letting me have those bamboo shoots? Huh? Uh, I mean, I don't mind giving you one of them. Thank you. I'll just take one then. She tosses it in the air and cuts it up. Whoa, that was amazing. Urza's freaking out. Does it taste that bad? Despite being raw, it's not bitter at all. It's so juicy and sweet, I've never had a bamboo shoot like this before. It's like... A rare monster flavor. Who the heck is this lady? Please let me buy all these marvelous bamboo shoots. Uh, but these are... It's alright. She's welcome to have them all. Really? Well, okay then. Thank you. I can't put a price on this great flavor. So, please accept this as a token of my gratitude. The way this is going, is she about to pay big for these? Huh? Well, thanks. Fantastic bamboo shoot boy. 20,000? That's it? I mean, that's a high price for some bamboo shoots, right? It'd be wrong of me to feel disappointed. Rota, that lady? Was she someone important? Important doesn't begin to cover it. That was Eric Macy, the epicure. Any food she approves of will fetch a high price among the gourmet crowd. I see. Rota, I'll skip all the formalities. Would you sign an exclusive contract with us? A contract? Your bamboo shoots will soon be a hot topic all over Sekiro. When that happens, I want the rights to sell them as a branded product. I want to sell them as Rota's bamboo shoots. A branded product? That would be great for me, but are they really worth? They are. I'll pay a signing bonus in addition to the cost of the shoots. Alright. I'll trust you with all of it. Happy to partner with you, Urza. Same. Alright, gotta raise my strength stat some more today. I'll be at rank S soon. Who's that? Watch out! Now. Right. She finishes it off. The head lands in her cart. What the heck was that? Sorry, but try not to get in our way. Princess Margaret is on the job. Princess? She waves at him. You've got a princess too? This world is amazing. She's using an airbox. An airbox? Yeah, you know how monsters sometimes don't drop anything after you kill them? Oh, yeah. For most people, I guess the monsters and Nihonium don't. It's apparently a useless dungeon where nothing drops at all. Yep, recent research has revealed that they're actually dropping air. Really? Yeah, so we had the idea to put that air in a box and sell it. And it's not just any air. It's handmade by Princess Margaret. It's impressive that you had the idea to sell air. Yep, it's our top product. For real? Is this the princess effect? Is that a magic cart? Yep, it lets us carry a lot of air boxes at once. 
We can't have the princess coming in and out of the dungeon too much. Oh, yeah. Just being able to make fewer trips would make it so much easier. A magic cart. I've wanted one for ages, but it'd be a major purchase. I'll have to talk it over with Emily, too. So, now, I'm not sure whether to get a new house or a magic cart first. We should get a magic cart, then. If you use it to save up money, we'll be able to afford a new place soon. Good point, though we'd have to put off moving, and I'd feel bad for doing that to you. Oh, don't worry about it. I like my life with you in this little house very much. You're right. I guess we'll be here in the Emily house for a while longer. Well then, should we go to the magic cart shop tomorrow? We'll be able to see the owner's little girl, Olga, again. They're at the shop and they hear crying. Is that? It's Olga. Are you okay? Dad has... Did something happen to your dad? Dad hasn't come home. Did he tell you where he was going? He said he was going to pick flowers. The only place to get at flower drops around here is a dungeon called Arsenic. So there's a good chance that's where he is. Let's go to Arsenic. Right. So this is Arsenic. The monsters here are called Dander Rocks and they don't move. They don't attack either. I see. Then we can... Or not. Looks like we'll have to kill them after all. He shoots it, but it bounces off. The bullet bounced off? Yoda, stand back. And they turn into dandelions. Of course, between your increased power and the strength of that hammer. Way to go, Emily. There he is. That's Olga's father. Are you okay? Oh no. They're at a loss for words. He's asleep? Hey, wake up. He's not waking up. Emily, he made Olga worry so much. And we find out he's... Wake up right now! What's going on? Oh, it's you two. Darn it, I was having such a nice nap. You left your sweet little girl behind to wander around where, exactly? I apologize. What in the world were you doing here? Olga was worried sick about you. I came to get parts for my incredible new magic cart prototype. Namely, heavy rocks and light rocks. I caught the heavy rock... But as for the little rock, well, the dander rocks blocked my path, and I couldn't get anywhere. A prototype? The one you mentioned before? Look there, that's it. Is that rock flying? Light rocks are lighter than air, and they're rare monsters, so I just can't get one. I see. It might be tough to do solo, but I bet two people could handle it. You're light, Emily, but your hammer's heavy. Are you alright, Yoda? No problem. I got my strength up to rank S in Neonium last time. I'll try my best too. Oh, that is just what I needed. It's pretty, sure, but what did you need it for? Let's step outside for now. There, we'll leave it be for a while and watch what happens. If it turns into a stray, it'll float up again, won't it? There was a ceiling in the dungeon, but if it floats up from here? Yeah, that's the thing. We'll just have to run in and grab it before it flies off. So it's all up to chance, huh? I wonder if there's anything I can do. Any minute now, I think. Time to grab my drop. He misses it. Nope, we're not done yet. Nota freezes it. What the? It might be lighter than air, but it'll fall if it has the weight of ice on it. Amazing, Yoda. Thanks. The great artisan Orton's latest magic cart is complete. Take it with you. What? No, we can't accept such an expensive gift. Don't say that. I'm not giving you this just because of what you did today. Then why? You protected our town the other day, remember? The hero Sekro deserves some kind of reward, I'd say. Take good care of my daddy's magic cart, okay? You too. It's a reward for you for all your hard work. A reward? I see. I'll use it with all my gratitude. They hunt some bats. Alright. Emily drops them in. Looks like it's over capacity. We've gathered over twice as many bamboo shoots as usual, thanks to the magic cart. Man, this thing is incredibly handy, isn't it? We must be grateful to Orton and Olga. For sure. I'm going to run over to Urza's place and sell her these. Then I'll head home and start making dinner. Give me a break. Sir, I've told you several times, there's no mistake in this purchase. Shut your mouth. 
I brought enough to sell for more than 10,000 pilos. I bet you're lying about the price anyway. Come on, cough up the cash already. I'm willing to accept 20,000 for my trouble. I can't pay more than the list price of 8,400 pilos for what you've brought in. What? You trying to go against a customer's word? What the hell? You need to stop. Who the hell are you? Urza wouldn't lie about the price. I'll prove it to you. Check that out. It's Orton's latest magic cart. How does he have so many bamboo shoots? What the hell do you think you're doing? Urza, how much is one of these green onions worth? Huh? It's 120 pilos. Got it. This magic cart was made with rare monsters from arsenic, right? So it automatically detects the weight of its contents and calculates the total amount they'll sell for. 8,400 pilos. Sounds like the exact amount she quoted. You're in with this shop to run some scam, aren't you? I just happened to walk in here while you were here. You think I could pull that off? Shut up, you little bamboo shoot bastard. I'll knock your ass off. Watch out. What? Sorry, but I'm gonna need you to take a little nap. Whoa, he just saved her. You ought to bail me out again. You don't need to worry about that. But I will. I'm an item trader. All the items I sell here were gathered at the risk of life and limb by adventurers. I'm obligated to handle them with utmost care. I want people to feel comfortable bringing their goods here to sell to me. But if I have to be helped out all the time, it's a bit more than even I can bear. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with having help? Everyone needs help. You've helped me out a bunch, too. I haven't done anything special at all. You always buy my items off me with a smile. You share your cheer with me. And if anything like this happens again, I want to protect you. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, right? Of course, I feel like the help you give me means a lot more. She kisses him. Huh? Um, Urza? That wasn't for me as an item trader. That was a personal kiss from me. Make sure you remember it after you leave here, okay? Well, I need to get back to work. Right. Nota and Emily are hunting. Before, the most we could make in one haul was 20,000 pilos. But now, they drop in the bamboo. 200,000? We could buy more than 6,000 bean sprouts of that. With this much saved up, we have enough for a new house. They're packing. I guess it's time to say goodbye to this house. It's a bit sad, isn't it? Yeah, I have lots of memories here. Yeah, and I've learned just how nice it is to have a place to come home to. Yeah, me too. 200,000 pilos. After killing slimes for three days, we finally scraped together 200,000 pilos for rent. It's no small amount, but... Yoda? Emily, let's keep our lease on this place. That way we can come back home anytime, even after we move to our new house. Can we? Wouldn't that be expensive though? I think the whole reason we've been dungeon diving to make money was for a time just like this. I want to use it to protect the place that's precious to us. They're at their new place. Ugh. Morning, Emily. Good morning, Yoda. Breakfast is ready. You still make the best breakfast ever, Emily. I think her carrot dishes are the best too. When did you come in? Where there are carrots, there are also rabbits. I made lots, so it's no problem at all. I guess that's that. Let's eat. Then the episode ends. Some personal thoughts. This show may not be top tier, but it's starting to grow on me. After Rota saved Sekro from the ape, I figured Orton would give him the magic cart right after that as a reward, but he didn't because I guess it still needed some materials, then he gave it to him. With the princess selling air, it reminded me of Belle Delphine selling her bath water. I feel like that's what they were making fun of. Or it could just be me, and for them it was just an odd funny concept. I imagine we'll get more of the bamboo shoot lady next episode, and maybe Rota will go into Nihonium level 3 to increase... I'm going to guess his dexterity. As much as I enjoy this show, I do have one major gripe with it, and that is that they preview the episode in the opening minute or so before they play the opening. 
Obviously, I don't cover that part in my videos, and when I'm watching the episode, I skip past that because I don't want to get spoiled. I don't know why they decided to do that, and who thought it was a good idea to do. It takes away from the show, and really should never be done, unless it's covering what is happening already, not what's going to happen in the episode you're about to watch. However, besides that, a good episode. I'm looking forward to next week, but that's about it. So yeah, 